is the Glass Cannon Network. coming home to Massachusetts is coming home to Massachusetts in the fall! We travel the whole country doing these shows. And occasionally we go to shitty towns like Portland. (laughs) Terrible, terrible city. But even great towns (laughs) like Nashville and Chicago on their best day can't beat Boston in fall. Can't do it! I woke up this morning, I was doing lines of pumpkin spice off the hotel sink. <laughs> like Tony Montana and Scarface. <laughs> I was a hayride and a couple apple cider donuts away from a perfect day. <laughs> Show of hands, how many hayrides did we go on today? Any hayrides? No? Oh, it seems, wow. seems to be an audience of adults. <laughs> <laughs> Urban adults, that's all we have here today. <laughs> apple cider donuts? All right! You know they have those in other states. No, they're not the same. They're not the same. The trees are different. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they get their apples from the Hudson Valley, New York area. Shut your mouth. (laughs) You wouldn't know a good apple if it hit you on the head. Um, I'm sure most of you know this, who listen to our shows, that uh, Joe and I flew into Vegas on Thursday. Let me get my Vegas look going real quick. (laughs) <laughs> so I uh, we've you, been drinking since the Thursday morning <laughs> <laughs> so 
Since the Thursday Since morning? Since the Thursday morning. That's what I'll refer it to us for a long time. The Thursday morning. Four days before Troy passed. <laughs> <laughs> Who can forget? Bloody Thursday. Um, and of course, when you are, are a problem drinker, you just keep going. So there was no point where I was like, maybe I should just take a break before the Boston show. I'm like, it's football Sunday. (laughs) I can't watch the Pats lose sober. (laughs) Um, It was funny because Sydney was like, so you're on a bender. And you're like, you're like, no, I just don't want to, I want to keep it going. And it's like, you're on a, that's a bender. That's a you're bender. on a bender. I, I want to keep it going. I don't want to go home to my wife and children. Right. Yeah, like, I'm in a Not different a city that I live in. That is the I'm definition. A, I'm in a textbook bender. Yeah. One man's bender is another man's bender. <laughs> <laughs> We, you should have seen Joe and I in the... Uh, we flew into Vegas, from Vegas. I don't even know where the hell we are. Last night, we got in around 8 o'clock into Logan, and you should have seen these sorry sacks at the airport lounge yesterday, just bloodshot eyes, <laughs> shoving carbs into our face. I looked over at Joe. He had nine pieces of, like, Texas toast-sized <laughs> French toast. He was just sadly eating it. But here's the thing. I wanna, I've, I've been meaning to ask. I want to ask a larger crowd, so we'll start with Matthew, <laughs> Sydney, and Skid. I'm interested to hear people's opinions on this. So we, uh, we had the same flight yesterday. I woke up at 5.30 a.m. Vegas time because I had vodka pumping through my left ventricle and I thought I was going to die. So I'm like, time to get up. And I showered and I packed and all the while he was sleeping. And uh, by this point, it's like seven. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take my bags, go downstairs and uh, maybe gamble a little bit. So I went down there, put 100 bucks in the Wheel of Fortune slot machine. And uh, won, won, won some money. And then I left to go to the airport. He shows up at the Centurion Lounge like an hour later and looks at me like I'm the craziest person in the world <laughs> because I didn't wake him up and take him to the airport with me. And he called me a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that was sociopathic behavior? Uh, okay, wait. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And now my side of the story. I told the true story. You left out a few details. This began with Troy saying, I booked this flight to Vegas. You should get on the same flight. Like, okay, he sends me all the info. I book the same flight. We go out the night before, fall asleep. I wake up in the morning. He's gone. I have no idea where he is. Not a text message. It's like, I headed off to the airport. Nothing. No, I, I was like, you. this psychopath. We're on the same flight out together, and he just left for the airport. <laughs> Not even waiting to see if maybe I oversleep and miss the flight. I'm like, all right, now, is that normal behavior? Troy is currently checking to see if he sent you a text, and his facial expression says he did not. I, I have a text here. I can't read all of it. <laughs> but I did say, see you in the Centurion Lounge. At that what was time? already there. At what at time? 11.21 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said that to his face before you left. So in he's, while you were he leaving me, together. while we were in the lounge, he's like, what would you have me do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally pushed my roller suitcase <laughs> as a prop. I went, I'd go like this. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm off to the airport. <laughs> would you like to come or did you want to sleep in? It's as simple as that. I would have had to wait psychopath. 25 minutes while you showered and packed. <laughs> you, could go, you could go lose the money you just won. Yeah. Just... Also, you could have lied. Joe was probably dead asleep and you could have said, oh, buddy, I tried to wake you. <laughs> That's yeah. true. I yeah. tried. That's true. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> we're, not all, we're not all as... Born deceptive as Sydney. <laughs> there is a small sociopathic part of me that was hoping you would oversleep and miss the flight because it would be a funny story later. <laughs> but that's it. That's where I draw the line. Everything you do is in service of this show. Right. We know that. Things I do. My sociopathy only is for entertainment purposes. <laughs> I'm normal. It's fine. Yeah. Right. I can stop whenever I want. That's right. <laughs> Uh, how are you doing tonight, Matthew? You look like you lost some weight. I had food poisoning this week. 
But thank you. Sweet, dude. Yeah. That's the best way to drop some LBs. It was re- really Order fast. some Poland Springs from Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> um, no, what did you eat that... Uh, I don't know. You know, come on. Come on. Take a guess. I don't know. I, I, I mean, you know had, what you ate. We had burgers the night before, but I didn't feel. You know, you get food poisoning. Meat burgers? What did you just no, say? Beyond burgers. Beyond, beyond, burgers. beyond burgers. Yeah. Oh, and beyond Matthew burgers. made them. He made them himself. Okay, so you had vegetables. Just call them vegetables. That's what you had. <laughs> you had vegetables had, and bread. I had pea protein coagulated with certain other products to make Ugh. the shape of a patty. You deserve to get sick. <laughs> 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 That's how you lose weight. You have a fake meat burger. And then you get vomit for 36 hours. Three three days. How long did it last? Was it a 24 hour thing? 36? I mean, I was laid out for like 20, like for 48 hours. Ooh. Yeah, no, it was, I was like, I was having fever dreams. I would tell this kid today, I had like those, I was like sleeping in like 25 to 30 minute increments and like 102 degree fever. And I like, at one point, I had a dream where I found out that someone was trying to kill me. And then I spent the rest of the night trying to get back to that dream. <laughs> because if I knew who was trying to... to find out who. Because I needed to find out who. Yeah. And then I would be cured. Yeah. Oh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love fever logic. It's great. Yeah. It's I've had those. I've had, like, the food poisoning where I wake up to myself talking to characters in a book I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> like, out loud. And I'm like... Oh, my God. I should probably see a doctor. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad you're feeling better and you could make the show. Um, Thanks. Maybe I need a little food poisoning after this weekend. <laughs> Would do you good. Why don't you send me one of those homemade burgers? <laughs> <laughs> they sound five star. Yeah. Sending, sending it via the U.S. Postal Service only makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send us some of those pea syrup patties. <laughs> sound them, great. Leave them out on my porch for a couple days, then That's, dry them up real quick. They call that dry aging. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you tried the Capita Casa dry aged pea protein burger? <laughs> They're horrible. Um, <laughs> Sydney, correct me if I'm wrong, this is your first time ever allowed in the state of Massachusetts. They let me back, baby! <laughs> No, have you... Don't tell my parole officer I'm here. <laughs> He's right All there. of you, don't tell him I'm here. <laughs> have you... What's your experience with Boston? Have you have a lot oh. of Boston experience? You're such a shit. <laughs> I feel like for we already had this conversation. For listeners who know, uh, I lived in Salem, Massachusetts for two years. She's a witch! Tell her! <laughs> witch! She's a witch! Would they she like to live deliciously? They don't do that anymore. <laughs> They corrected that. Um, Make an exception. No, I love Salem. I love Boston. I've got tons of friends in Boston. Spent a lot of time here. I love Back Bay. I love JP. I love Cambridge. Uh, but I, I can love- say names of neighborhoods, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyone can rattle off, like, any neighborhood names from Google. But... A list right there on her. <laughs> no. a witch. Burn her. No. <laughs> But I, uh, I love the North Shore, and I have an affinity for... Sa- I know, I'm sorry. I've got an affinity for Salem. Are there Salem. any neighborhoods left that you don't know? <laughs> no, I what mean... What about the Berkshires? I lived in Salem, but, you know, I go to Beverly, and, like, I know Danvers well, oh, so I'm... still going. Coming. <laughs> so many neighborhood <laughs> names. Let me think of a few I told more. her about Danvers for the first time 20 minutes. Well, let's see. There's Lynn, Massachusetts. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> you guys like Cape Cod? That's yeah. here, too. Uh, No, but uh, I love Boston a lot. It's fun to be back. I haven't been back in a while, uh, partly due to that weird pandemic that uh, was going on. And it's still going on. Don't tell anybody. Hey. But uh, it's good to be back. And it's great to be back before the winter. Mm -hmm. Because that's rough here. You mean when it gets even better? Oh, interesting. All right. You don't like sledding and snowball fights? (laughs) No. All right, fine. (laughs) No. Skid, you, uh, you're in Massachusetts all the time. You have a, a place down the Cape. You're yes. always down here. This is like a second home for you. Yes, I love come UMass forever. I've got my, I went to college here. I uh, love it here. And I'm super happy tonight because, in fact, uh, my, my friend Joanna is here uh, somewhere. Uh, she was, uh, she was my, my Aunt Bennett's best friend for forever. Uh, I've talked about Bennett on the show like many times. She was like a second mom, second mom to me and my sister. And I've known Joanna since like 1980, probably. 
So, and she has no idea of what this is. Oh, she dear. She does oh, not understand no. like, any of this. You didn't she give her said any. She listened. She said she was listening. She said she looked into it. I don't think she actually listened to it. <laughs> Skid, does she, she, have looked, any? she checked out the website. That's what she said. <laughs> so, she doesn't understand what any of this is, but I think, but she is one of the best people in the world. She is a blast all the time. Uh, and Bennett never actually got to see any of this happen. So, this is. The next best thing for me, so I'm very, that's great, dude. very, very happy. That that's you great. Back. Welcome. Always man. happy to be back. I uh, grew up here, and no one came to see me. <laughs> did you? Did you ask them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his brother, his own. Flesh he never what? comes. We, we were like, he never comes. We were like, Harpoon sponsored the show. Harpoon, look at this. We got yeah, Harpoon, Harpoon Hazelnut. Harpoon, Harpoon. Coffee Harpoon. Roll. sponsored the Pumpkin. show. Pumpkin. Boat. Cold brew. Little session if you just need to keep it together during a live show. I text this asshole three hours ago. I said, hey, if your night frees up, we go live at eight. Harpoon gave us six cases of beer so I can give you some to take home. Plan on falling asleep on my couch by eight, but I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't even take the free beer. Free that's beer. how uninterested. That's, that's how he, that's your younger brother? Yep. <laughs> Twelve Such years apart. Dick. He was a mistake, and I told him. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would say, Don't say that. I'm like, You're a mistake. He's say- not here. <laughs> He's not here, Joe. It doesn't yeah. matter. Where are you? Can't defend yourself. Mistake. Tyler is, though, because like, he was living in New York for a while, and we, I, we, we did see him a lot at that point. And I had one of the best days of my life with Tyler. It was the day that FX was doing the Every Simpsons Ever marathon. They just started it. And we're both, he's the other, like, huge Simpsons fans. Like, me, him, and Matt Ambrosia are, like, the three biggest Simpsons fans that I know. I was like, let's, let's just watch Simpsons all day. He's like, yeah, come over to my house. And we just hung out at my house, like, watching Simpsons the entire day. It's one of the best days of my life. Yeah. <laughs> He still talks about that. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you if you were doing a podcast here talking about Simpsons, he would have made the drive. <laughs> That's what you had to say. And you, you big piece of shit. We yep. have not <laughs> left uh, each other's side. I know, it's too long. Barely. In a long time. Uh, since Thursday, what time, like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we met up in Vegas, and we have just been <laughs> basically inseparable. Within six feet of each other for the last... <laughs> 72 hours plus. I don't want to see you after today. <laughs> we need a break. Until the New York show. Yeah. Next we year. S- <laughs> <laughs> we sang... We sang? Spontaneously. Oh. <laughs> while watching football, oh. in the background was the Beatles' Here Comes the Sun. <laughs> and if you know it, the refrain goes, Here comes the sun... Completely separately, both of us went Scooby Dooby <laughs> at the same exact time. Exact time. And the three of them, were all like, three of them were there, and we looked at each other and we were like, "We need a break." Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby. All right, should we play some Pathfinder? No. <laughs> nah, man, I'm tired. <laughs> I just want to talk. We never talk. <laughs> the All five of us talk. never talk anymore. Um, no, we should play a little Pathfinder. Do you have any good, good N- music to like set the tone? Something Boston-y. Here like, comes the sun. <laughs> Doobie doobie. <laughs> How about some Aerosmith? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some Aerosmith recap music. They really like Aerosmith at sports bars in Boston, it turns out. <laughs> A real tower on a boat. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. That was good. really good. That was good. God, licensing kills everything. I know. We're going to get a hit on YouTube now. <laughs> it's worth it. There's an extra 25 minutes of work. You know what? I am... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm totally fine with sharing profits with Natalie and Brulia. I, I, I wish. <laughs> She's earned it. Yeah. That's a song's a cover, too. It. She shouldn't get all that money because she didn't write that song. That's true. <laughs> Who wrote it? I don't know. Somebody else. Matthew's on it. Matthew will um, find out, yeah. When I was at uh, college at BC, um, that's how you do it, Sydney. I, uh, <laughs> it seems more genuine when it comes, 
right. from Troy. Like now, a like, humble <laughs> brag? What was that? Well, it's conversational. It's, you've worked it in. Tell the story. Let's, see, no, 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 let's see if it's conversational. Tell the story. Go ahead. My my junior and senior roommate, direct roommate, uh, Charlie and I, we like to listen oh, to... Oh, Charlie. Oh, I can look up names in a baby book, too. <laughs> people. Yeah. Where's Charlie tonight, yeah. Troy? Yeah. We would. Uh, we liked listening to like having music on or the TV on as we went to bed and oftentimes Natalie Bruglia's Torn was our like go-to album. <laughs> <laughs> it was written it was written and performed by the band Edna Swap. There you ah, go. There you go. I am also fine with sharing profits with Edna Swap I'm because I'm fine with that. Lord knows they've earned it. <laughs> and need it. Yep. Yeah. We're going to listen to that t- tonight in the hotel too. <laughs> You'll see. It'll put you hey, right to sleep. I don't hate Natalie Ambrulia. I'm down. What? Give, me some, give me some good cap music. Some cap mew. I'll set a, a dark tone. My lips have never been drier. <laughs> than they are right now. I think they're bleeding. I, they feel like they're bleeding. I look like a, a hooker clown. <laughs> if I had a nickel. If I had a nickel. <laughs> um... I need to roll initiative for the hooker plan. All right, anyways, recap. This is pretty good recap music. Um, Our heroes are actually in the middle of a long boat journey down the Selen River. They are following a man named Count Hazerton Lowes IV, who they believe has traveled far away to the south in search of a book called the Necronomicon, which will lead him to a lost city where allegedly three monuments exist that were placed in the world millennia ago by ancient alien beings to provide a gateway between this world and theirs. Why? You don't know yet. (laughs) How? (laughs) They just placed him there. Flying polyps. When? When? Millennia ago. Oh, right. And why? You need to do your homework. (laughs) Back to Google. (laughs) Don't Google. No Google. It's like, read book five of Strange AI. Wait, I know how to do this. Troy, I looked it up. (laughs) Please don't. (laughs) When I get the bottom, the copyright will be book four of Strange AI. You'll be ahead. Uh, our, Our heroes now know that in order to obtain the location of this book, they need to, oh, the Count had to enact these certain rituals to enter the dimension of dreams over and over again until he could gain an audience with a man known as the Mad Poet. And the Mad Poet told him the location of the Necronomicon and who knows what else. So you'd like a chat with the Mad Poet himself. So you have been traveling the dreamlands seeking gifts to present to him so you can find out what's going on with Laos. You now have three of the seven gifts. But meanwhile, back in the real world, your boat journey has been fraught with danger as of late. A stop in the fanatical religious nation of Razmirin almost left you for dead when one of their faith barges tried to capsize your boat and enslave the strongest among you. And more recently, you were almost duped into helping four lost fisher folk whose boat was apparently going down until they attacked you, screaming paeans to the water rat, a forbidden god in these lands known as Hanspur. Because of all the people you have been taking uh, aboard your ship as you've been going along this journey, you now must stop at the port city of Riverton, just on the edge of the River Kingdoms, to resupply. But it is a city full of these Hanspur worshippers who are known, among many things, to force everyone in town to take part in their strange worship services that take place every day at sundown. Your captain, Skywind Freeling, has made it clear that you are to get in and get out, not mention the murder of these faux fishermen, these other Hanspur worshippers, and try to avoid any trouble so you can get the F out before sundown. To make matters worse, Sir Julie and Atticus perished last time during your journey to the dreamlands and awoke with a madness touched in the real world. Sir Julie is unfathomably sad, forced to look for joy by getting Eiffel Towered by the two elderly scholars on board. 
You should have seen the role my armor played in that. <laughs> so far, she is still quite sad. <laughs> they tried their best. <laughs> and they will no doubt keep trying. And Atticus has been plagued with an unknown delusion, unknown to the other players at the table except for Joe. But it's left him snippy and a bit weirder than usual. So Skywin, with Riverton in the distance, rows a small little dinghy with the four of you to shore, exits the boat, and as you're standing there, a wide-eyed elf in patchwork robes and spiked muddy hair steps down the dock toward you, looking down on you. He has several women behind him walking in procession. And he looks at you, and he raises his hands to the sky. Do you have any questions before we begin today's Glass Cannon Live Boston? Uh, did we have, an, uh, we had an opportunity to heal up all of our damage before we did this? Yes. Okay. Now, that may have meant you had to expel some spell slots, but I'm sure you guys have been emailing each other ever since last Thursday. For sure. To make sure you did this exactly by the book. Yep. While also talking about all the loot you've gathered and how you're going to split up that money to buy things. Like a real adventuring party. <laughs> Any other questions? From the mad side of the table? No. Okay. <laughs> I am very excited, though. I'm, I don't, I'm very excited to do this. <laughs> this is very fun for... Uh, Maybe obvious reasons. I, I like playing games like this. <laughs> With <laughs> very, very excited. Yes. Yeah. I concur, Joe. Yeah. Well, I've said it before, Sydney. I don't know if you've heard it before, but I feel like playing at the Paradise is like playing in our old living room. We've been here yeah, so been much. Here so many times. Yeah. It's so it's such a comfortable feeling. So yes, I'm in. Yeah. Matthew, are you uh, enjoying yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel I, any pressure to say that you are. I also enjoy playing, and I also am capable of pandering, and I also enjoy <laughs> playing at the Paradise. <laughs> Let me tell you something about this harpoon pumpkin ale. <laughs> yeah, look at this. How delicious is this harpoon? beer that we're drinking up here on stage. A couple more sips of this, and I Ooh. won't have the shakes anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, I'll still have the shakes. No, I'll still have the shakes. All right. Shoots his hands into the air, and he says, The water rat delivers! Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> the water rat delivers! Oh, God. Oh, no. But in his own time. It's Fred Schneider from the B-52s. <laughs> <laughs> Not who I expected to run into tonight. <laughs> he looks at you wide-eyed. I have seen you in murky reflections and I would impart hand spurs sodden wisdom to you with private words come let us speak of strange dreams red sails and dead fisher folk oh you already know he knows about the dead fisher folk he might not know they 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 can lie. Don't say anything. Well, they, no, no, he may know the fisher folk are dead, which is quite true. Fisher true. folk die all the time, right. as we will all die. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, please. Sir Julie. Sir Julie, please, for Just a moment. I'm sorry. Hold your, hold your tongues. Let yes, we came across a rather unfortunate boat. It seems... The skipper and all of his men perished near to shore here. Do you know of this tragedy? There have been many tragedies like this as of late. <laughs> this, this guy knows what it's about. Four yeah. members of our community, ex-members I should say, have been attacking ships in the area. I had intended to exile them as their attacks had been impacted trade in this town 
I would be glad if they were slain or driven away. Perhaps Hansper has granted us this deed. All hail the water rat. And all the women say, all hail the water rat. Oh, this is creeping me out. Stop. <laughs> the voices are coming from everywhere. Boston, calm down. <laughs> You're freaking skid out. <laughs> what is your name, sir? My name is Nyrail Twiceborn. Brother Nyrail Twiceborn. May I, I call you Brother Nyrail Twiceborn? You may. May I have your name, young lady? That raised my spirits just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Sir Julie Andrews. A knight. To who do you pray, Sir Julie Andrews? I have recently discovered that prayer might be meaningless, my friend. <laughs> And no matter what we say to any god, oblivion waits for us all. <laughs> See, I told you he could carry this on for several episodes. And it was Big still thumbs good. up from Ave. Good line. Yeah. These are distressing words, Sir Knight. Yes. But perhaps your soul is ready to take a new god. You should wait until our ceremony that happens at sundown and you will see the glory of Hansper for yourself. All hail the water rat. All hail, hail the, the water, water rat. rat. God damn it. I hate that. <laughs> and you, young traveler, what's your name? I am Atticus Grimm. Why is it they call you twice born? Because I've been born again. Born again without sin, believing in Hanspur. He has saved me from being drowned, and I am born again. For you see, I do not preside over this humble community of Riverton. Don't be fooled by what they tell you. I am not the leader here. We pay homage to our true leader, the one who shall light the way for all of us, the almighty Hanspur. All hail the water rat. You're a rat. <laughs> That's undeniable, yes. Perhaps you are a sign from Hans Spur himself. Take off your clothes and bathe in the waters of the cellar. He starts to unbutton. Yes! My brothers and sisters. <laughs> uh, can we simply not Doc, in Riverton, we have trade to be done. Uh, what is your name, <laughs> young traveler? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Marie. Marie, Miss, Miss Maria. You can refer to me as Miss Maria. Miss Maria, where are you from, Miss Maria? <laughs> Where you from? <laughs> <laughs> Far away. Look it up. The, from, <laughs> from, well, I'm from further up the Salen River, but it's unimportant. I'm on the road. Isn't it? No, it is not, Atticus. Where you're from? Is not important for the current conversation, Atticus. What are you doing? He's half naked. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, seriously? I'm getting ready for a bath. He was like walking into the river and he turned back. He's like, he's in it. <laughs> he's bought in. He's bought in already. In the bigger picture, what are you doing? I'm cleansing myself. <laughs> Be not too greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Your time will come. There are ladies present. Many women are present, Atticus. Yes. The Many behind. women have given their souls over to Hansburg, and perhaps you in your travels. You have been brought here for a reason as well, and you will embrace Hansburg and your heart as well, Miss Maria from far away. Per I may I have something to do which keeps me busy until later when you have you said at night did you for the ritual so sundown sundown before night if you will dusk if you will sure so probably I'll be busy 
until then, but perhaps afterward, if I'm not busy, I could stop by. I stopped listening. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> no one knows what you said. Early in your meandering. Skid's friend Joe has no idea what you just said. <laughs> Perfect. Do not, do not worry. No amount of words can fill the void. It will come for us all. Keep your heart open, Miss Maria. There may be room for you in my retinue of followers. All right. She's what not making qu- eye contact. What are the qualifications for joining your retinue? You will find out in due time, Sir Knight. Perhaps you will take a knee to Hanspur, and there could be room for someone of your age in my retinue as well. I have taken knees several times in the past few days. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, and let me tell you, my friend. Yes. And let me tell you, my friend. They will lift your spirits just a little, but not for very long. <laughs> get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir, what is your name? Oh, uh, Eldo. Uh, just Eldo. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Straight to the point. I don't know. I like you as well. Uh, I love your uh, in-your-face sort of method of worship and, and uh, convincing people to worship what you're worshipping. I'm a huge... Admirer. 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 So far. There is only one way to give yourselves over, and that's by giving your whole self, your body, your mind, your soul, and even your life to Hanspur. Fact is, I've already seen the four of you in my dreams. We can discuss that later. No. We'll discuss it now, Sir Julie. Get off your knees and listen. <laughs> For once in your life. <laughs> For once in your life. <laughs> Just before midnight, many nights ago, was it two weeks? Maybe three. A red sailed ship came here to Riverton. Its captain looked like a man dressed in thick clothing, but I tell you this he was no natural man. Although I cannot say what about him caused such unease when I looked at him. He passed me a large ruby and asked whether any travelers matching your exact description had been here in Riverton. I swore by my drowned soul that no such visitors had arrived and that his ruby was ill spent, but the captain merely chuckled and gestured for me to keep the gem and what happened next haunts me to this very moment. For the chuckling that came out of this man continued, but the captain's mouth no longer moved. I soon realized it was not the captain chuckling, but the ship itself. The laughter was coming from the ship, as strange as that may seem. The vessel looked to be of ordinary wood and cloth and iron, but there was something sinister and alive about it, Miss Maria. You will not eat until the ceremony begins. <laughs> sorry, the rations were low on the ship. I just, sorry. I listened to that boat laugh and I walked away. I had nothing more to add, so I left them at the pier. By morning, the red-sailed ship, its crew, and its captain were gone. But I've seen you in my dreams ever since. And now you are here. And now that you are here, I must ask, who was that man? And what was that ship? It has gnawed in my very mind ever since, like a rat gnaws a bone. You know about that, don't you? He's currently gnawing a bone naked in the water. (laughs) In the water? Head snaps up. Um, (laughs) And I will... Wait, do we know... First of all, where is the captain? Skywin's with us. Did she left? Did she leave? Skywin, while you were talking, she was just... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's what I was hoping. She slowly left. (laughs) 
So did she leave? Did she go into Riverton? Uh, yeah, I would say at some point in the conversation, she felt like this was safe and was like, we're on a clock here. Seems perfectly safe. And she's like, I'll be right back. This oh, so we're, we're docked. Weird. Yeah, yeah we're docked, docked and okay. we are buying time. Gotcha. Right. You want to see, 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 see a map here? Yes. Ooh. Oh, my God, yes. Let's take we, it to the map. Take it to the John? Take it to the map. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. We're on oh. shore, actually. We're yes. on the beach. Yeah, nice. so there's the Selen Starling. Oh, nice. And uh, obviously new maps by our good buddy Dave M. Yes, he Dave spent, M. He spent such time making these maps that I put an equal amount of time into finding these ponds for the women that are all identical. <laughs> <laughs> the, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Really did it, did well, it, you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to take something too ostentatious and put it on no, there. No, you draw. don't want to. Do you want right. to draw attention away from the map itself. And you definitely did a good job of not making them look awkwardly squeezed into their aspect ratio. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's thanks cool. for that extra bit of effort. It's dedication <laughs> to the craft and our, our good friend Angeline made a new pawn for Ave Maria. Oh! Oh! That is amazing. This is too freaking that cool. That is beautiful. That's amazing. Thank That's you really so cool. much, Angeline. And the posters for the show also feature Ave, which is my first time that my character's on a poster. Yeah. It's so hey. cool. Yeah. Angeline is, is amazing. Angeline works so fast, and yeah, the product so good. is so good. It's also good. It's a very big day, the first day you have a character of yours on a poster. It's so special. Yeah, it That's, feels amazing. It's huge. Yeah. No one ever forgets their first pawn. Yeah. Uh, so there's the map. And so you see, you took this little dinghy, and Skywind was like, peace. <laughs> um, All right. But so he asked you, uh, you know, I'll pay for whatever knowledge you have. Oh, he didn't say this yet. He's like, I, I will pay for whatever knowledge you have. And he reaches into his, like, shitty robes and pulls out a uh, r- glittering ruby the size of, like, a child's fist. Oh. And he holds it out to you. I will pay for whatever knowledge you have. Who was this man? And who uh, was this ship? Do we know? Like, is this somebody that's obvious? Like, the Red Sail, somebody who knew us, did we fight somebody on the river like that? Or am I... We didn't, right? Like, we don't know who this Does is. Does anyone... That's hunting us? Remember anything? No. No. I don't think I was even there. You're the GM. Your job is to tell us what we don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Your job is to take notes. Uh, you did not fight any ship like But we this. saw a ship with red sails that vanished into the mist. It was like right. following us. It looks yes, like someone right. remembers all of a sudden. Ah. Uh, I just needed that extra. Like We <laughs> saw it, but we didn't fight Were they fight following it. us or were they ahead of us? It was behind you. It was behind us. Yeah, and you haven't spent any significant time in any of these settlements. Uh, a ship of what looked to be of a, a larger size than yours, it would think you would have seen it. You described this creature when you spoke of it as yes. being in cl- simply clad in heavy clothes. But you spoke with it. You have no further details. Was it human? A elf. man? A man. Was it an elf? Was it a creature that is recognizable at all? His features were hidden to me. Could he it have appeared- been... Could what? it have been two children standing on, on, on top of their <laughs> shoulders wearing a trench coat? I wouldn't rule that out. <laughs> but truth be told, it appeared to be a man. It wasn't the man that put me at so much unease, so much as that ship. Well, we did, uh, we did see a ship. And it was big as a whale, and it had some red sails! So you do know of this ship? Yes, but it doesn't make any sense. It was following us quite long ago in the north. If it was here first, it must have sailed past us and then began to follow us. It doesn't I'm going to ask you up. a direct question. I'll give you a direct answer. What have you done to have someone be following you? No one is just followed for following's sake. I can give you the truth. You are there followed. Is no you are doubt. followed by five. People. Will you get off your knees? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fine. So, Julie, this is not the time or place. <laughs> I was just observing that he, our friend, the brother here, is also followed by five people for no apparent reason. But not... Would you stop distracting everyone? <laughs> just stay on topic for one moment. They're my wives. The truth... <laughs> what, are the, what are their names? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Once you accept Hansper into your heart, you give up your names. You just have numbers. 
But you, have, but you have a name. But you have a name. They all look the same. Quiet six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm one of them. Excuse me. Why? My name is. Excuse me. My name is Sarah. And my name is Sarah. I'm also Sarah. Are you role playing yes. the, the women? I'm the women. <laughs> Wait, did you just. I'm Sarah. Did you just take control of five of Troy's NPCs? Wow, wow. That is quite That's bold. Such a power she's, move. she's new here. Quite bold. Wow. <laughs> Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Bottle Thanks, cap. Troy. Bottle cap. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> You yeah. asked me a direct question. I'm yes. giving you a direct answer. What was it? We were in the service of Count Hasselton Lowell's. Do you know the name? I do not. The details of our service is even unknown to us as we suffer from some sort of amnesia. Those who follow us, we believe they follow us for this reason. That we serve the Count. The Count passed through these parts some months ago and we are following in his trail. He never stopped here. No, I don't remember seeing anyone who introduced themselves as a count. What did he look like? A man, rather handsome, black hair, dark features and eyes. Never seen him. You've never seen a- You've never seen a man, <laughs> man. with dark hair. <laughs> handsome. You're very quick to judge, sir. <laughs> Didn't seem to think for a moment. It's as if you know where this story is going already. <laughs> a count, you say? A count from the north, Thrushmore to be exact. Do you know of that? I have heard of Thrushmore, but they do not embrace hand spur like we do. So we do not spend time there with those heathens. Looks at Ave Maria. Is it exhausting for you, speaking like this constantly? <laughs> Never stopping preaching? Preaching? Do you ever speak normally? I am not preaching, Atticus. I am doing nothing but speaking the truth. A truth that you yourself will learn, should you stick around till dusk. Mr. Nyro, clearly we don't have the information to afford your ruby prize. But perhaps you can indulge us in more information on the ship that you saw. You said it had red sails. Yes. Was there any insignia or name on the ship? I saw nothing of the kind other than the fact that I'm pretty sure it was laughing. Is that not enough of a unique thing about that boat? Well, you said the boat left, so no, not really. It did. Perhaps the Count is after you for something you did. Are you fugitives here in my town? As I said, we very well may be. We suffer from amnesia. We don't know our own actions. We could have done horrible things, terrible things. <laughs> All the more reason to be cleansed in the cell and I, I do keep... hope you'll stay for our ceremony. Unfortunately, we must be getting back directly. Once All our captain has resupplied us, we will be on our way. Your captain, the little halfling that ran off when we started talking? Well, you say ran off, I say resupply. It is a simple... Uh, the ship has needs, as you know. Now, please, is there anything else, or should we... Or should you be on your way? <laughs> Are you the Coast Guard? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm glad we have had this time to talk, and I do hope that your journey here keeps you until sundown so that you may see Hansper's light for yourself. In the meantime, I appreciate you, and you, and you, and even you. <laughs> Take this as a token of our friendship. And he uh, throws the ruby to you. Wow, wow. That is very suspicious. Yeah, yes. I don't like that. It is more Sense motive. worthy in your hands than it is in mine. Sense motive. There is no sense motive anymore. Well, there's perception, which can function as sense motive. Right. Yeah. Why is it that you give it away so easily? You offer it to me freely. You offer it to me freely. Uh, 25 for Atticus on perception towards sensing a motive. 26 for Sir Julie. Mm. 24 for Abe. Better than me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, both of you two, while you're also suffering from madness and a little uh, not all there, get the sense that uh, he did give this away a little too freely, almost like he wants to be rid of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, cool. Well, let's, we can check it out. Once yeah, we're Atticus private. is like, we thank you for your generosity. It is above and beyond the people of this city will be well spoken of as we continue our journey. I thank you. I thank you, haft moist rat. <laughs> your, <laughs> your sojourn here is a gift from Hansburg himself. <laughs> I will now go and have sex with my wives. <laughs> Sarah, 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 and, and Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> yes, as we do before the festivities commence. It will not bring you the respite you seek. He just looks at you. Enjoy your time no. here in Riverton, my children, and may the water rat bless you on your journey down his river. All hail the water rat! All hail the water rat! Goodbye. He sticks his hands in his robe, <laughs> and he walks with his wives. One, two, three. Four and five. <laughs> Off in the direction of town. And the four of you are left there on shore with this strange red ruby. Uh, Atticus will... He looks down at it. He's shining it in the light. Different angles. And he'll start with a detect magic on it. You don't really detect any magic. He throws it in the river. <laughs> <laughs> Worthless junk. You see it plop, and then you look down at your hand, and it's there again. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is a synthetic ruby brought here from some time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sick. That is an old joke. God, ah, that's the old school spirit, Matthew. Well done. <laughs> Um, I have is, some in my bag. <laughs> it is, uh, as you examine it, strangely flawless for a ruby. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's a synthetic. synthetic. This feeds in. Uh, Atticus, there is no magic emanating from it. I sense no dark purpose other than that it is almost too perfect. Could I roll a, a nature check on it? Uh, yeah, how about... Uh, yeah, do nature. Uh, 22. It doesn't appear to be from here. Okay. Uh, I know what that Matthew knows what this is. Can I? Well, really? I, I know exactly what this is, but Sir Julie probably doesn't. Can I roll it? Oh, what's plain? What's planes in uh in two e? Uh, probably Arcana is roped in, isn't it? Yeah, or it could be Arcana, it could be occultism, you know, whatever. Could I could I roll religion to see to determine if I would recognize uh, the origin of this? Yeah, try it. Uh, twenty six. No, uh, twenty six. Yeah. Twenty six. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any religious significance. If, well, you just told, let me, I'll specify. You just told us it doesn't appear to be from here. Yes. Can I use my knowledge of my uh, fighting a holy war on the world wound to perhaps detect the plane of its origin? Um, sure. Just to give you some more knowledge. I mean, the four of you are pretty smart. I want to do an arcana check. Yeah, I, yes, I can do arcana. Same. Yeah, so as Sir Julie is, is holding it, uh, you two knuckleheads come over and do an arcana check. Uh, 29. I'm going, to, nine. I'm going to write down my guess in a note, and I will reveal it after we know things. It is a Lang ruby. Oh, my God. Jo jo wow. Please read the note that I just typed out. Lang. Oh. <laughs> Bottle cap. Big bottle so, cap. So if I read the module, do I also get a bottle yes. cap? <laughs> it's How a do you lang. know about a Lang Ruby? Because I played Pathfinder before, bro. Bro. 
And I've read, and I've read my, and I've read my, you know, Lovecraftian horror. Okay. A Lang Ruby. What does it mean, Sir Julie? You know so much about it. Yes, clearly. Tell us. Tell I am yes. channeling, sure. uh, channeling knowledge from another source, but Lang Rubies can be used to execute intraplanar travel. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. They can power <sighs> engines that travel between the worlds. Atticus's what? eyes light up. What HP Lovecraft book is that from? I don't remember. <laughs> Okay. Is it from? I don't. But it was know. from a Pathfinder. I I ran, I ran a Pathfinder module for some of our our our, uh, our subscribers that takes to, that you use a, a pirate ship powered by an, a uh, Lang an engine. A Lang oh, that's cool. To go to Lang. Very that's cool. really cool. Very cool. This is why we get up in the morning. Yeah. Everybody roll a perception check. Oh boy. Oh boy. Damn. Ooh, with a side of chips. Fifteen. Nineteen. Mm. Oh, natural four. Disgust. Natural four. Yeah. Uh, Sydney. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh. Uh, Aldo Casimir. Uh, Twenty-six. Okay. Uh, Aldo, as you're standing there on the shore, admiring this ruby, and Sir Julie, uh, kind of conferring with you in particular that this is a Lang ruby, non-magical, harmless, but strange. Um, you hear something from above and you look to the south and your eyes follow up a tree as you see coming out of what looks like maybe some sort of makeshift nest up there a six-legged green scaled dragon-like creature and it fucking swoops down <laughs> oh, no. and lets out a large scream. Roll for initiative. Oh, no! Here we go, Bean Town! <laughs> Bean Town! Little dragony type fight. Uh, Sir Julie, do you want, do we roll do you want me to re roll or use our or is perception? That our roll? Initiative? What? Do you want a new perception roll, or is that our initiative? Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah, use your shitty perception Damn roll. Damn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank Damn you. Damn it. And thank you for being honest. Uh, sir, you guys all have uh, bottle caps, hero points. You could re-roll initiative if you wanted to. I would allow that. 19 for Sir Julie. 19 for Sir Julie. Atticus. 36. So you re-roll. Wow. Liar. No, I, I know. I got a 15. 15, terrible. Uh, Ave Marie, you rolled a 21. But with my keen eyes, it's a plus two. Not, not that good, but cool. I used to have keen eyes. Um, and what happened? Al- Aldo, what did you roll? 30? Uh, 20, 26. 26. Let's yeah. go. Well. <laughs> All right. The big Aldo fan. A lot of there. support here in Beantown for old Aldo. Um, Aldo Casimir. <laughs> All right. By the way, I like I cut this last couple weeks. I came up with a whole like backstory thing for Aldo. Oh, it'll probably never come out. But I'm so excited about it. I hope it, he lives long enough. Dude, to we got to talk. It. We're playing this game every week now. I know. I but get it in. I, okay, we'll start now. <laughs> I'll, also, I'll, start, also, I'll start sharing during the fight. I'll start like yeah. Also, for those of you that don't know us that well, that's Skid's passive-aggressive way of telling Troy he's not allowed to kill him tonight. <laughs> that's how he sends the message. Yeah, Joanna, that was... Yeah, that's how he does it. Uh, yeah, we will be uh, live on Twitch the next three Thursdays, continuing today's show. So please join us. And then if you want to stoop your way over to New York in October, we'll be playing in that inferior city as well. But... We'll all be in costume. Can't wait for that one. So excited. This is what this creature looks like. Shaboom! Oh! oh. <laughs> Aldo, That's... you got the jump as you see it coming down. What Did do you, you say? Do? Dragon-like creature? Dragon-esque. That's a dragon. It's a dragon. Yeah, all dragons have dragon. six legs, bro? No. That's what I thought. Also looks like it has a weird buck tooth. Oh, look how cute you are. Oh, 
Hello, guys. <laughs> Hi. Watch out for my breath weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it recharges every 1d4 round. <laughs> Everybody for a row. We should not kill this animal. It's so sad. I was just coming to give you all a hug. Don't kill it. Aldo, you're up. God, uh, the artist, if they were listening to this, would be so angry. So angry. All right, Aldo, Casimir, what's uh, have you? I'm going to do... <laughs> <laughs> Look out, I'm a dragon. Can I do a quick... He's a little bit far away from you, obviously, because he's up and he's swooping down. But do you want to do a knowledge check? Yes. I'd like to do an arcana check. Yeah. Oh, man. Natty 16. Oh, that's going to be juice. That is a 34. 34. 34. Let's go. This is a creature known as a Dracolisk. Uh, Oh. Oh, Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Is that the child of a drake and a basilisk? Um, That's pretty uh, smart. Uh, It's actually... Uh, a it's descended from basilisks and black dragons. Oh, You're on fire yeah. tonight, dude. Yeah. yeah. Man. Also, is everyone aware what happens when you fight basilisks? Don't worry about it, Joe. Cause I'm gonna quit tonight. No. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. It is time for no. Don't meta game, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Sydney, do you know? Of course I know. Everybody, look it straight in the eyes so you see the whites of their eyes All and right. just wait for it to come. I got this. I quit. I look at it in the eyes, canonically. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> uh, so with my second action. So, so what do I know? Like, what do I know about this? Yeah, thug? do we do we know? We don't want a meta game, but mm, would we rolled, know? Yeah, you rolled very high. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here's what I will tell you. Oh man, it's so bad. You're not gonna like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna like it. Um. All right. So. <laughs> as a reaction, you can do it once per turn. Okay. It can do something called Petrifying Glance. Okay. Jesus, okay. goddamn. And that's a creature within 30 feet that the Draculus can see starts its turn. Okay? Okay. Uh, and then there you've got to roll against its Petrifying Glance. Now, there's an action you can take in Pathfinder. You can take the action to avert your eyes. Um, but, you know, basically, you have this information. It's not within 30 feet of you. You can tell your friends, but if they don't go before the Draculisk, they're not going to be able to take that action to avoid right, their eyes. Right, right. All right, so with my second action, I'm going to shout out. It's just like, don't meet its gaze! It'll turn you to stone! It's a Draculisk! And with my so, third action, I'm going to avert my gaze. Why, why couldn't we take the action? He just told us. Right. If no, you, but your turn. If you act before the Draculisk, you sure can. Right. But it's, a, but it's a reaction when we start our turn. It gives you a plus two to your save. Got the it. action in the bird case. Oh, because oh, he can do it before our turn even starts. Right. Got right. it. Got is okay. that your turn? That's my whole turn. The reason I say that is it's its turn. I knew the reason you said it. I was trying to argue yeah. for why. Here I, I come. <laughs> 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 Oh, I've been looking for some new friends to play with. <laughs> he swoops down and unleashes a breath weapon. Oh, no. Oh, no. 30 no. foot cone of nonsense. 30? Yep. No. Everybody give me a fortitude uh, save. Fortitude? Not reflex? Mm. Nope. You should read the rules of your monsters. <laughs> this was written by the author. <laughs> <laughs> he adapted this specifically for the show. <laughs> oh, what oh, everybody oh. roll? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll? Sir Julie. 29. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, what about... <laughs> I detect from your tone that it might not be good enough. 
that's pretty good. You should be proud of yourself for that role. <laughs> we'll hang it on the fridge when we get back to Queens. <laughs> that role. What about you, Atticus? 23. Oh. Collective groan from the audience. Ooh. For those listening at home. All hail the water, rat. What about... Stop! Stop doing yeah, that! Yeah, that's the thing. They're that's gone. the thing. It's like they're, they're really not just staring me. They're not just being funny anymore. Like some of them are going, "All hell, the water." Yeah, they're like, like, I think they're it's actually real droney and scary. They're buying you're, into this worship. You're part of it. <laughs> you don't even know what the water rats like. Yeah, you don't know the tenets of this religion or anything. Uh, well, you should know before you jump into it. No, he's got a point. You, you know what? You weren't raised in the. Water Red Church. Ave Maria, what did you roll for your fortitude save? Also at 29. Also at wow. 29. Pretty good. Not bad. Oh, she's we'll got see. a cocky look in her eye. No. Oh, no. That'll go I, well. I, don't, I detect we didn't do well enough. So no, yeah. it's not good. It it's... can't be DC 30. Can't. Yeah, this is crazy. Dare I say. I think... uh, what about Aldo Castro? Well, we'll find out. I actually got a 30. 30? Oh. Yeah. It's a smart lie. Nanny 16. Thank you. You failed. And we'll take 41 points. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. Of poison damage. Poison damage. Oh. Poison breath weapon? Yup. Uh. You all take 20 points of poison damage. Oh Six. D10! Oh, wow. wow. You rolled incredibly well. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Holy that shit is its turn. Now. Ave! <laughs> Save us! <laughs> Ave Maria. Ria! Uh, shoot. You are starting your turn. I'm naming Did my you character say after shoot? a song. I want people to sing after my... <laughs> oh. You're starting your turn within 30 feet of this creature. Yeah. God damn it. Should I heal or... I mean, you were the only one... We all got hurt a little bit, but you got hurt a lot of it. How hurt are you? You're right there, too. Like you're I know. Right. I should just attack. Yeah. Well, I think my reaction is going to happen first. And so I need a fortitude save. No, oh. no, no. You Reaction can't do what? it to Ave. I didn't do anything. That's you're... so messed up. I know. I know. It Reaction is. to what? Because you're looking at it. Oh, no. But I'm not. Yeah, it's Sid, it's that thing where somebody's like, don't look at that. And you just like immediately look like, at what? And you what? look, look at, at it what? for that second. Can I not take a single action? Unfortunately, no. But... Uh, this reaction is now used up, so even though you'll die, your friends can tell your story. That's All great. right, well, fortitude save. Maybe I won't die. Let's see. Maybe you won't. Fuck. <laughs> hero point. Bottle cap. Bottle. Hero bottle point. Cap. I do have a hero point. I have one hero. You know what? Yeah. You call them bottle caps here at the network? Hero point. Bottle cap. Taking that away. This, this is the kind of thing you use it on. Yeah, Green exactly. die. Let's see. I rolled the same thing! No! The same exact number. That is God! my favorite thing that happens <laughs> when they use the cap and still fail. Same number. That's a 17. Oh, my God. Fortitude save. Oh. Here's what happens. She goes, look at what? Watch it. You look at this thing and just... Everything starts to slow down around you. You see the water lapping against the shore, just like, like acid trippy. You become slowed one. Oh. And you feel your body begin to stiffen. So I'm not. Don't get your hopes up. Yeah. You're not. I'm not. Don't say the word. Yes. You will be yes. soon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are slowed one for one minute. It starts right now, so you only have two actions this turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attack with my scimitar. Fuck you. Good. 
Yeah. Really? How dare you? Slowly. Yeah. It is in the air above you and out of reach. Okay, so that I don't do that, obviously. I thought it was on the ground. It's understandable. So instead, I'm going to f f f f fuck you fireball it. Yes! Yeah! Two actions! Two actions! Boom! Boom! Uh, so you need to make a basic reflex save. Yeah, basic reflex save. Okay. Wonder how the reflexes are on Probably this bad. Dragon. It's got yeah. so many arms. Here we yes. go. Uh, 30. Cool. Yep, so I shoot a fireball and it completely misses. No, what was the DC? 24. Okay, so oh, that's a success. So oh, okay, damage. so yeah. it is not a critical. I thought it was a critical. A okay, base, so half damage. Cool, so I will do that. Okay, and I'll take it. Maybe. Ooh. Oh, so man. bad! Seven points. So half of seven, you take three points. <laughs> oh, man. Damn that, it. That sucked. I'm off my... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm off my game. I'm halfway paralyzed. Yeah. She's turning to stone as we... I know. As we are, I know. I'm sorry. I just... Yeah, uh, I yeah way to go. Great. Yeah. Good job, yeah, Good Sydney. job. Yeah, great round. Thanks. I've had athlete's foot that burns more than that. <laughs> I liked this guy. Now I hate this guy. I now know. I can't stand this he guy. He was kind of He charming. was funny, and now I don't like him. Sir Julie, it is. He had sort of an idiot sweetness about it. <laughs> okay. So, Julie, uh, it's your turn. Sir Julie is going to clasp her greatsword in both hands and raise it above her head and fire off a sunblade. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Sunblade! All right, so this is Here just comes a, the sunblade. Scooby Dooby Doo. Here come. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Natural one. Oh, no! no! Wait! Wait! I'm gonna use it here. My, here. Okay, now uh, are you 100% sure that that requires an attack roll? Yes. Okay. I am, oh, however, thank gonna, God. gonna use a hero point. Oh, thank God. Come on, Matthew! <laughs> Boo. And I went from a natural one to a natural six. Uh, that's a 19 to hit. 19 to hit its AC? Uh, that is a. Miss. Yes. Um, and then with my final action, how high in the air is it? It is uh, 15, uh, 20 feet up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'll take the action to avert my gaze. Action yeah. to avert Good your job. gaze. Good okay, job. Okay, great. And that'll give you a bonus to Plus, save. Two, Plus two to the next save. Okay. And I lied. It is uh, 15 feet up. Okay. Okay. Thank you for being honest. Well, <laughs> we're in Boston. Uh... What does that mean? I lie everywhere else. <laughs> Not my home. Uh, Atticus Grimm, what do you want to do? Uh, Atticus Grimm is going to start casting spells m- madly, furiously, wildly uh, in fear of this creature. First of all, where he's standing, he would provoke. Does he provoke? He already used his reaction. Oh, uh, right, ah. right. Okay. So right. it doesn't tell you I that love he... to eat rules. Okay. Now, I... that doesn't mean it doesn't have an attack of opportunity. Uh, I understand. He just... But he used his reaction. You're right. That's very smart. Here we go. All right. First thing Atticus is going to do is say, go get that son of a bitch. And he's going to touch Sir Julie and cast Fly on Sir oh, Julie. Oh, yes! Oh, I love yes. that. I love that. That's badass. That's then, awesome. Wow, she he's just going to turn slowly and lifts continue. from her knees. Yeah, and then he's going to turn, continue the incantation. And he does this strange thing that gives Ave Maria, Aldo, Sir Julie, and this horrible, idiotic creature a strange tingle for a moment as he casts Time Jump. And oh. he's like, poof, and he freezes time for everyone but himself. No one sees anything except suddenly Atticus is 30 feet away. And with his, oh, no. Yeah, I can't do that. Do you not have enough actions? Uh, So basically, I get two bonus actions. And I was going to use one of them to avert gaze. But I can't. By the rules. Uh, The actions must be used to leap, stand, step, or stride. 
So it's oh. all about movement. Uh, but that's okay. I just needed to get out of there. So I will... Uh, oof. Is there anywhere I can go? Can I go up on this dock? You're, or is uh, this like... Uh, the dock is higher up there. You would have to do a uh, acrobatics yeah, to jump up like there. Yeah, it wouldn't... Like it would I'd just cost to, you an extra action. Uh, could I run. leap? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try... Uh, what happens if you leap? If you, like, fumble, do you just fall on your prone? You drown. Shit. Shit. You can leap up to 10 <laughs> feet horizontally if your speed is at least 15 or up to 15 horizontally. Uh, it doesn't say anything about... Oh, if you leap vertically, you can move up to 3 feet vertically and 5 feet horizontally onto an elevated surface. So is this about 3 feet or is it too high? Mm, it's a little higher. Okay. Then that'll be it. That'll be his action. So he moves away as far as he can. Could he get under the dock? Uh, yeah, sure. You're tiny enough. All right. Then he will squeeze under the dock and through to the other side. Okay. He's just trying to create as much distance right now as possible. Great. Uh, all right. So you're far enough away that you don't have to worry about breath weapons. You don't have to worry about averting your gaze unless it decides to follow you over. There. Right. Exactly. But so in that instant, poof, he just, to the creature and everyone around him, vanishes. If he happens to have a line of sight to Atticus across that dock, maybe he sees him again. But otherwise, he just vanishes. He doesn't see the movement. Big round of applause for round one, everybody. Yeah. Hey! Hey, round, round one, one, Boston. Round one. Strong. Hey. You guys. And you guys. And you. And you. Let's take it to round two. Aldo Casimir. Uh, Aldo, it, so, all right, so he sees everything that's happening now, and he knows this thing can, par- he, like, he sees what's happening to Ave Maria. So he could see her turning to stone, like, before his eyes. So he wants to melt this thing so that we can, we can survive. So he throws, <laughs> he th- so it's just like he throws a moderate uh, acid bomb Ooh. at the creature. Oh, oh. It's an acid bomb. All right, Acid Queen, what do you got? Uh, oh, that's great. Acid Queen. Uh, 34 to hit. Oh, 17. Please don't be immune to, hit to acid. Yeah. Is a hit. Okay. Nice. All right. So uh, they take uh, six points of damage right now. Okay. And they will be taking persistent damage on their turn. Okay, little Acid damage with a persistent situation and because it's uh, 15 feet up, that's away from the splash on Ave Maria. Does it seem to take the damage? It does seem to take the damage. Oh, okay. Alright. W- yeah, with my knowledge check, do I know any weaknesses or uh, resistances? That uh, it has? You rolled high enough that I can give you one more piece. It has resistance to poison 10. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Alright, so my second attack, I'm going to I'm going to toss an alchemist fire. At it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on, dude. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. 23 misses. God okay. Damn it. But okay. as we've learned, or I don't know if you saw this, if it's not a critical uh, failure, it still takes the splash damage. From yes. The miss. Right. Uh, so that's oh, another... it's like uh, uh, anti aircraft fire. It like yeah. explodes yeah, in like the flat. air next to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that is an, a, more four more points of fire damage. Okay. Okay. Chip, chip, chip it away. Uh, you have one more action? Uh, I have one more action, and I'm going to use it to avert my gaze one more time. Little gaze aversion. Oh, let's see. It's, it's my turn. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Sydney, mm. where you're new, this <laughs> next action is going to be considered hazing. Oh no! Uh, that's frowned upon, you know. They don't you, like that. These they don't days. do that yeah. anymore. They like right. it in Boston. I don't know. Maybe the <laughs> crowd was not behind that. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're all scared. I, I heard one person go, "Eh, <laughs> 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 eh let them do what they want to do." Eh. It's kind of like we used to. <laughs> um, all right, so. Let's try. This is. We really like to pretend that never happened here in Boston. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Yeah. The, okay. The dark days. I t- did I tell you that when I was in high school, they ha- the way they hazed us on cross country is they would throw us in a garbage can and roll us down the hill. Yeah. That, the hill that led to the parking lot. They did that to you? No, I was. I was. I. They didn't do it to me. I was gonna say, would they use one of those tiny little office trash cans? <laughs> 
the, the square ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just imagined you giving a speech about how you're a conscientious objector and then being like, this is just exhausting. Fine, we won't put you in the trash. Yeah, right, yeah. Fine. I guess you don't want any friends. Right, just go home. Just go fucking home. <laughs> if you didn't want to go to college, just go home. Yeah, just go home. Guys, back to the public hazing. Uh, Ave Maria, this thing has already uh, done something to you that makes you feel as if your body is stiffening. It's made you slowed one. Now it really looks at you in a way as if it's looking directly into your soul, into your very veins, your corporeal existence. Give me another fortitude save. Okay. I'm switching my dice. Two action. Oh my god. Wow, this is horrible. Can we can we give hero points in to you? What? Can, can you I... give someone a bottle cap? Yes, you can. You can give someone <laughs> a bottle cap. Why are you shaking your head? Boss and Joe. Boss and Joe. Boss and I'm sorry, no. I if you ask me again, I'll take him right out of the game. Gee, you're know. a tough coach. Yeah. Put you on the bench. It's called tough love. I think there's this is hazing, all right? It's, uh... You were hazed by your coach? <laughs> Weren't you? <laughs> Boston hockey over here. All right, let's go. It's a 19. God damn it, Sydney. I know, I know. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Sydney, let me ask. Would you like a... Uh, Dunkin' Coffee Roll Cream Ale <laughs> or a uh, Dunkin' Cold Brew. She hates also. them both. Give she doesn't the, like either one. Give me the cream ale. You're the cream ale? All right. Here's a uh, Harpoon Dunkin' Coffee Roll for you because you're going to be bored for the rest of this Do encounter. Do I have to? Oh, I thought you were going <laughs> to oh, make no. me like oh, shotgun no. it on stage. Shotgun oh. it! <laughs> shotgun it! Hey. Shotgun it or you're not cool! Boston, do you want to see me throw up? I'll shotgun a cream ale. Now that's Hazen. Um, Matthew is appalled. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! Because down the hatch. And tell me what happens. Because you've already been slowed by its petrifying gaze, by hitting you with its two action petrifying gaze. This is really good. You are permanently petrified. Oh no! So you just see Ave Maria frozen. I'm going to kill myself on live TV. (laughs) On your birthday. I'm going to wait till your birthday. And I'm going to kill myself on live TV. (laughs) That is an incredible threat. I love that threat. I feel like this is like gonna be in a documentary. It's like, <laughs> when hazing <laughs> went too far. <laughs> what started with a coffee roll cream ale ended in murder. This is the best ad for a harpoon. This is like, they've yeah. done, they've I'm really as mad they've as hell. money's worth yeah. for this. I'm for as sure. mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> Enjoy I'm, your harpoon. I cry, I'm just crying as I drink the harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> Harpoon also sponsoring this season of Snapped on Discovery ID. <laughs> also, like, my birthday is not until next September now, so, like, it was a weird threat to, like, threaten me with something that's happening over 11 <laughs> months from now. Just you wait. You're going to forget. Months, I'm going to kill myself. Just you here. fucking wait. Uh, oh, yeah, Troy, happy birthday again. Yeah, happy birthday. It's and passed. by the way, happy birthday. It's we, we sang to you at, at the last show. That's Very true. Sweet. Yeah. You're permanently petrified. Okay. Still has one action left. And with its final action, it will swoop around closer to Sir Julian Aldo. Now that Ave Maria is no longer a threat. In fact, I'm no going to make you... No longer a threat. I'm going to add a little tint to your thing like your gray. Oh, no. It wow. was such a cool token that I had for five gotta, minutes of yeah, the gameplay. Wow. I gotta do darker gray. Ooh, touch of gray. Just take me yeah, off the map. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, play a little touch of gray, Skip. Yeah. A touch oh, I, of shit, gray. I don't have it on here. Oh, come on. I was just listening to it today. I don't have it, though. 
Uh, this creature has now swooped around, but Skid, it did have uh, persistent damage it was supposed oh, to take. nine points of acid damage. Fuck yeah. Okay, well, that's good. And then do I get a free... Re, uh, what can you call it? It's a 15, DC 15 flat check. Flat check. Here we go. 18. Come on! Me hungry. Okay. My only true friend. Troy's gonna roll! Troy's gonna roll! You're, you're totally screwed! 18! Alright. It is now. Ave Mer. Oh. Oh no. What go- what's going through your head? Nothing! You can't think, you can't act. Literally in the rules it says you are simply turned to stone. You have a hardness, you have your HP, so if I get striked out I still have my same HP. What's going through your head? Uh, I'm thinking like... All right, when I get home to New York tomorrow, what do I have to do? It's a Monday, I have work. You have I to go gotta... right to work. You have to work for Discovery ID. Yeah, I work snapped. for a Discovery ID. Let me just send some emails. Troy, you can play your little game. All right, doing double duty here. That's I great. got a lot to do. Making the best use of her time, bottle cap. Bottle cap! Do I get a bottle? Do I get unparalyzed? Do I get unpetrified? Sir Julie, it's your turn. Is this petrification considered a paralysis effect? Um, uh, no, I think paralysis is its own thing. I think it is different, actually, yeah. Is its own, uh, it matters. thing, uh, yeah, no. Paralyze is its own thing. Petrify. I never actually used this. Look, it has everything. But it says, <laughs> it says... There's a little wizard on here. You guys seen it's this? Cool. Have you heard about this? <laughs> the GM screen? Oh, look at that! Son of a gun. Yeah, paralyzed and, uh... Fucking petrified are two different things. Yes, but is is there a paralysis effect as a part of petrified? No. You're just making that up? Uh-huh. You can't act. This is all it says. You can't act, nor can you sense anything. You're an object with double your normal bulk. Typically 12 if medium, 6 if small. Hardness, 8. And the same current HP you had when you were alive. I don't see the word paralyzed in there at all. However, now that I've read that, it almost seems like she could be shattered... Oh, could, wait, no, 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 no. She's that stone. No, no, no. Shattered! All right, Don't well. Don't hit me. She could be shattered. By the light. Unfortunately, I have to take you at your word. You're as cold as ice! <laughs> Oh, come oh, on! I, I don't want to get another fucking copyright hit. <laughs> it would be worth it for cold as ice. It's cold as stone. All right, uh, I will take you at your word, and then I. So instead of trying to end it with a mercy, uh, I am instead going to fly up. Yeah, you yeah. are. Yes, yes. 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 you hero, you. Uh, at the Drake, and I will take a strike with my greatsword. Yeah, strike. Uh, that's gonna be a thirty to hit. Yeah. Ready to hit! Kill it! Just, just kill. That would be a hit, unfortunately. Its reaction happens first. Oh. So I would like you to roll a fortitude save, but you do get a bonus to okay. that save. Uh, that is going to be a 25. Damn. Oh, oh no! So here's what happens: you're slowed one. What? You're slowed one, and you start to stiffen. And you saw the same thing happen to your former, now dead friend, Ave Maria. I got one. And this attack still happens. Attack still happens. You can fly up and do one attack as you're yeah. slowed one. Okay. And we'll soon be a stone that will fall from the sky and shatter on the beach. Uh, okay, that is going to be... I did? Did I? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take Joe's word for it, and that is going to be 24 points of damage. 24 nice. points! Nice! Four. Damn nice. Damn nice! Okay. Very, very important. But... Okay, good. Nice. Okay. Atticus Grip! Atticus Grip! Can I see the creature? From where I am, I'm confused about the dark. Can you see the creature? Do uh, I have line of sight to it? Does it have line of sight to yeah. to me? It's 15 feet up. You're really gonna have to move forward to get a good view on it because you're so small and insignificant. Yes, it must make you feel good. To level insults at us. Look at that little dinghy. Isn't that cool? Um, oh yeah. Choo, 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 choo. Yes, very, very cool. 
That's a hell of a dinghy. It's a good dinghy. <laughs> These maps are great. See a little smoke coming out of the chimney? Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what they're making. What's their story? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find out. We could go find out. We could go in there. Why didn't we do that? Stuff. We should. That would be less uh, lethal than doing, all right. what we're doing now. Atticus is going to sneak up under the dock. Mm. Just until here, where he can get line of sight on the creature and line of effect. Okay. See it up there flying in the air with Sir Julie. Aldo just enough out of the way. And he's going to do the incantation for lightning bolt. Yes! And just ding yes. while it's up in the sky. Lightning bolt! So, uh... Lightning bolt! Uh, lightning bolt! Go ahead and roll a reflex save. A little reflex save for my Draco Reflex. John Tithesis. Okay. Uh... All right, let's get the young green going again. Reflex save. 20. 20 is a failure. Yes! Yes! Yeah! All right, uh, so that is... Boston Joe! Boston Joe! Boston Joe! Boston Oh! oh. <laughs> you fail at everything. What just happened? I just dislocated my shoulder. No! <laughs> It hurts so bad. <laughs> uh, that is 34 points of damage. Oh, oh my God. 34 yeah. points of damage. How much of that is a joke and how much is it out of the socket? It's back in the socket. Oh, good. Okay. okay. All right. But, so uh, I, yeah, I'm done for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a little bit of Harpoon Duncan cold brew. That's right. It'll cure what ails you. That'll take the sting right out. Uh, a big hit there. We needed a big hit because this thing has just been laying out some damage. Um, did I get uh, persistent damage again here? Because uh, No, because you made the flat check last time. I did make, thank you. you made the flat check? Yeah. You, really yeah. you make the flat check every time. I'm really good at this game. Uh, are you done with your turn? You moved and then a two-action Yeah, action that was jump. a two-action casting, yes. All right, once again, huge round of applause for round two, everybody. I do this because it helps me remember what round it is. Round three. Aldo Casimir. Aldo, so he sees what's happening to Ave Maria. She's stone. She's a statue now. The same thing is happening to Sir Julie. And she is... Like client, oh, see you, see you soon, Joe. See you, buddy. Uh, he's he's like going through like his bandolier, and he's just like, uh, what do I do? This is like, they're all, they're all numbered. It's just like well, there's like a there's like a number and color coding system to all the pockets, <laughs> like on his bandolier. Like an so NFL knows, quarterback, like, what, yeah. you have to flip open it. So so he t- but he's just like, but he sees that it's shaken off the acid, so he's going to throw another acid bomb. Okay. 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 Roll away. Uh, uh, 20. No. No. Okay. But it will take the, the Splicity Splash. All right. So that's four points of splash damage. Okay. Uh, and, uh, oh, boy. Yeah, he's going to throw. Shit. All right. He's going to throw another acid bomb. Yeah, do it. Yeah, really do it, wants to get the, the acid on this guy. Come on. No! 13. Oh. That's that's a fumble. Oh no! Oh, um, and but Joe isn't here. Yeah, to do Joe's it. not even here. By the rules. Rumble, of- rumble, rumble, the they will tumble. And the fumble. What city, Skid? Ah. <laughs> uh, what city? So this is what a magic or a ranged? Oh, he's on there. Look. Oh, well, look at him. Look at him go. Oh. Uh, oh, that's yeah. just a ranged fumble. Uh, let's, well, we got complaints. They always say the city they're in, so it doesn't get, uh, let's say, um, Katmandu, Nepal. Katmandu, Nepal. Yeah, so that's with an H. And how do you spell that? K-A-T-H-M-A-N-D-U. You got that, Matthew? I got it. Yes! Matthew, I like that you spoke through your mic, although Joe's mic is right there. I'm not touching that mic. Did you say... 
And you chose Katmandu because you're such a huge fan of Cat Stevens. That's, that's yeah. right. That's the... And the song Cat. Him and Jim Croce, those okay. the two guys that I love. This, uh, this comes to us from Oliver. Mimo. That's how they say it. Sweet. Oh, so yeah. All right. Woo. Just a Mal- stone's throw from oh. Katmandu. So Sorry, close. I'm, re- <laughs> I'm reading sideways far away. Your shot is redirected by an incredibly strong gust of wind from the north and your shot loses some of its momentum along the way. From the north. Your shot hits the closest creature, friend or foe, to the south of the target. If there are no creatures to the south of the target, the wind changes direction and now blows straight towards you. The new target must make a reflex save, uh, and then we'll find out what happens. The wind to the north! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the title is When the Beef Wind Blows. When the Beef Wind Blows. <laughs> Very good. Is that well Joe done, at the Oliver. bar? Okay. <laughs> hey, Joe, you still going to play stuff? Uh, so, uh, who, so it comes back at me, right? There's nobody to the south. There's nobody to the south of this creature. Yeah, so it yeah. comes back at you. Okay, so here's my reflex save. Oh, fuck me. Uh, that is a 20... 20... Uh, oh, okay, 24. What, and what's the, what's the DC? Against the AC of the creature, that is a fail. Okay. Uh, regular failure is full damage. So I oh, take, no. So you take the full damage from your bomb. Okay, all right. So I take four points of splash damage. So I'll take that now. And I have acid on me. So I will take that persistent damage. Oh, Lord. Uh, but I believe you have one action left, or was that your first? I have one action okay. left. Uh, so I and I I can't remember the rule right now. So because the, the, there is an action you can take to tr- try to proactively get rid of an ongoing effect like this, but I can't remember what it is. So I'm just going to scream. I would you would you get your flat check since you are covered in acid and it is now the end of your turn? That's right. That's true. Okay. All right. Let's thank you. No, I fail. So that, that's, a good, that's a good call. That's All right, call. it is the Dracolisk's turn, and just as it did to Ave Maria, it will spend two actions to use its two-action petrifying gaze on Sir Julie. You okay. love it, you know it. Give me a fortitude save, Sir Julie. Natural 20. Oh! Ah! We're up in the champagne room, motherfuckers! <laughs> we are most definitely not. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Huge. 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 Let's see where it is here. Uh, Since 15 feet up. Oh, you're right next to it. So I will then uh, use my final action to bite you. Let's oh. see what the strengths of its jaws are. dun <laughs> da, 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 da. Natural one. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> We should do a Boston I've live yeah, show. Yeah. We should do what a Boston. What about Haverhill, Massachusetts, my uh, hometown? Oh. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Is this your... Oh, yeah, it's your phone. Is Haverhill <laughs> in the house? <laughs> you used to have a mall. All right, we got Jason D. from Boston. Hey! Hey, right there! Oh! Jason! Hi, oh, Jason. Jason! Holy shit! 25% chance it's the same guy. Man. <laughs> he looks fired up, too, and he's close enough. He could just take Matthew out if he wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Just what? leap on stage and take him out. I better like this or I'll take him out. What was... Ooh. Oh, amazing. What was that popping noise? Oh, that's the same thing that happened to him. <laughs> oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. So oddly appropriate. That's amazing. <laughs> you overcommit to it in your attempt to strike your foe and feel something give way in your leg. Oh. oh why couldn't you say arm, you dipshit? <laughs> 
talk about Jason the, Dima. The dragon also has six it arms. Has six six so. legs. So. Your six suddenly legs. wobbly knee gives you a minus 10 foot penalty to your speed until you have time to rest for 10 minutes and get some ice on it. This does not affect flying speed. Oh, come on! He says it specifically! Why did you have to say that? Why did you say that? Jason D! Jason D! Boo! Why did you say that? We're up in the champagne room! (laughs) No, we're not! Why did you say that? You lucky bastard, LaValle. My walking speed! (laughs) Oh, you jerk. You jerk. I can still fly. You need to kill this creature right now. Put it out of its misery. <laughs> Quiet, statue. Uh, that was its turn. It now goes to Sir Julie. Okay, uh, Sir Julie is going to swing away at this guy. With your slowed John Yeah, I only got two actions here. Uh, first attack. Do I want to use a hero point? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No, you might, you might not have to worth keep it. averting or whatever. Right. 20 miss, second attack uh, is going to be a 22 to hit. Miss. Miss, 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 miss. Okay. Um, all right. It is now Atticus's turn. Uh, Atticus is going to. See how close. <laughs> uh, got a, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at some ranges here. Uh, oh no. No. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my. Uh. Uh. You're very. You're so funny. Uh. <laughs> shit. Uh, Atticus. Uh, he's going to. He's going to move up next to Aldo. Okay. And he's going to pull a fiery log from this fire. And he's going to telekinetically throw it across Ave Maria's statue at the creature. Uh, And that will be uh, an attack roll. Okay. What could go wrong? Oh, 33. Whoa! To hit. That is a hit. That is a hit. He did it. You did it, good buddy, Atticus. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, that was good. Uh, 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 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. nice. As this fiery log just whoosh, and the sparks shatter in the air around the creature. 16 points of damage. All right, this thing has been hurt. Any other actions? You moved and that was a two? Yeah, I was mo- moved and that was a two. Okay, we now move on to round four. No, I didn't like that round. Round four, it is Aldo's turn as a reaction. I will use my petrifying gaze okay. on you. Give me a fortitude save. Fortitude save. Should you fail, you'll be slow. Okay. Uh, oh, 23. You start to feel your body. Oh, come on! Stephen! Uh. Stephen, you're slowed one. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. And you are taking persistent damage. I am. Uh, okay, so, like, he feels this stone coursing through his veins. He feels himself turning into something immobile. And he, he's going to keep... And, and, and yeah, his, he's burnt, like the bomb that he just threw at this thing changed course somehow and landed right on his face. Back from so, whence you came? Yeah, no, it's just like, uh, this is terrible. So he's going to... But he's going to keep trying to throw acid on this thing. Natural 19. There we go. Oh. 35. 35 to hit. 35 is a hit, not a okay. crit. Okay. All right. So that's four points of splash damage. Okay. No, it's a hit. It's four. a hit. It's good. Uh, what? 
It, it hits, right? No, no, I know, but it's persistent. So oh, okay. it, what, you won't take it until the end of his turn. It takes, it's worse. Uh, I'm sorry, and I messed up my damage. You take four more points of damage. Unfortunately, your hand's off the chest piece. <laughs> okay. Four more points of damage. Maybe I took it, maybe I didn't. <laughs> so... <laughs> so filthy. <laughs> And I'm gonna throw, in my last action of the round, being slowed, I'm going to throw a, another firebomb. Uh, yeah, 23. Yeah. That's a miss. Okay, four more points of fire damage. Okay. Okay. And now you take your persistent damage and roll a flat check to see right. if you get rid of it. Okay, so I take seven more points of acid damage. It's like, ah! Like, it's, it's eating through my skin. And I do not make the flat check, so it stays on me. Bad news bears. Yeah. This has been a rough journey along the Selen River. And it's about to get worse, because it is the Dracolisk's turn. And the Dracolisk is going to slow. Actually, it's going to stay right there. And it is going to use its breath weapon again. But I want to hit Ave Maria, too. But I think to do that, I need to move. So I will swoop down behind Ave Maria. And I will blast all of you. You get no save, Ave Maria. You just take eight less damage from your hardness. And that will activate my... uh Retributive strike. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Sir Julie. Now, when does that take place before I get off the breath weapon? Once you do damage to her. All right, so let's everyone except Sydney uh, roll a fortitude save. 27. 27, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, 25. Also, solid number. <laughs> Hero point. Oh, yeah. you still got one. <laughs> What'd you get, Joe? Uh, I got a 17. Wow. Failure for Aldo. Oh, come oh. on. Oh, no. Failure Mother. for Sir Julie. Critical failure. Oh, oh no. My God. Oh, no. Boston Joe, no! No, Boston Joe! Atticus takes 82 points! Oh my god! Of damage! I'm gonna activate my retributive strike on Aldo, on, on Atticus. Let me lay out some more damage. You take 42. No. Oh, excuse me, 41. Was it 42 or 41? 41. 41. Excuse me, it was 42. You take 84, Joe. Oh no. 42 to Aldo, 42 oh my to Sir, god. Sir Julie. 84 to Atticus, and you take uh, 42 minus 8. Okay. 34. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Matt. I assume Genius. you just take the basic damage. All right, there, I'll, I will protect uh, Ave Maria. So, Ave Maria, give yourself nine points back. Okay. Okay. So, your god helps her by staving off some of that damage. Yes, she gets DR. Atticus, are you at dying too? Yes. Oh, oh, shit. No. Oh, no. is it dying two. Um, wow. Against a creature that has a breath weapon, one of your party is frozen. You guys ready for TPK, Boston? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I've been meaning to spice things up on this show. How about a whole new cast? And new characters as well. No, guys, there's a dead creature over here, dying creature. Have some respect. <laughs> that is its turn. Atticus, you now move, what, before the creature in initiative or right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Before the creature. Retributed Stripe, sir, went to Ave Maria, if you were paying attention. And I can't, and you're more than, I, you're farther away than a five foot step, so I can't take my strike. But he still gets, she still gets the DR. I wasn't listening. 
Uh, all right, so I'll move Atticus in the jaw, and it is now Skip's Ave Maria. No, you take nine points of acid damage. Boom! Yeah! Kill it! Wow. Kill it! Damn. Yeah! Boom! And it dies. Damn. 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 And it's dead. I will roll my flat check in front of Sydney. She feels like she's a part of this. Fuck me. Are you fucking kidding me? Natural 20. Give me. You still take the damage. You sure are. It you no know, you still take I the- went to the Atlantic Fish and Co. with Skid and Matthew, and we had a great time. We had a great time. And lovely. they had a special on drinks, and they said our cocktail of the evening is the Agave Maria. That's And I yeah. thought. And I thought, oh my God, it's a sign. This is great. Oh my God. You She's going to be okay. I'll have that. <laughs> Thank you, waiter. I'll have that. That sounds yeah. great. And I drank it. It was Did delicious. Did you call him waiter to his face? <laughs> That's, That's really thanks, waiter. rude. I said, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Waiter. waiter. Boy. 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 No. Boy. He was a really nice guy. There, he was very nice. But uh, was nice I was guy. like, that's a great drink. I had it. It was delicious. It was like a tequila, lime, sort of like margarita mix. And I thought, the show's going to be great. Yeah. How wrong great you were. And the How show wrong is, And the show is great. Yeah. You're right. The show is great. And I'm having a great And I'm having an agave great time. And yeah. I'm having an agave Maria great time. A <laughs> round of agave Marias. <laughs> On me. Troy, go ahead. Proprietary drinks from another place. <laughs> um, cool story. It's Sir Julie's turn. Sir Julie, <laughs> you are this slowed. Is is Aldo yeah. is slowed. Atticus yeah, is fine. dying too. Ave Maria is a statue. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> See if I care. That's amazing. <laughs> Whatever. What you gonna do, Sir Julie? I mean, Sir Julie's pretty hurt, but, yeah. and I really would love to heal, but I'm slowed, and it thinks thing moved away, so if I want it... And now it's a race to kill this thing before yeah. it kills you. So Sir Julie is just gonna fly straight at it. Come on. <laughs> Finish it, Sir yes! Julie! Come on, kill Sir Knight. it! Do you still have a hero point? I do still have a hero point. That's right. You earned that one. And I think I'm going to have to use it. No. Oh, no. no. Well, no, I'm not going to. 26 to hit. That's a miss. Oh, oh no. Dude, and it's, wait a minute. it's incorrect. The That's, module's incorrect. No, no, it's not. It's, it's incorrect. It's four of you against one creature. It's supposed to be hard. <laughs> Something's fishy about this based on what you said last time about, uh, about certain criticals happening. But I'll, uh, I'll, move, I'll move along. I don't know what you're no, talking it's not about. Fishy, it's just certain. Listeners death. of the later podcast are going, "Yep, he's right. <laughs> We've been following the numbers." It's a miss. It's a miss. I'm sorry that you're upset, but please don't cast dispersions at me. Oh, I shit. think I said that incorrectly. There will be no round of applause for round four. There's no time. No. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, let's hear it for round four. <laughs> this is unsanctioned applause. Uh, character death is very, very possible here, and I know you guys love your characters. Yours is pretty new, so it won't matter if she dies. I love her very much. But but the, the art is so good. You the, have to. The art is very good, but Angeline can make more. It is round five. A round that will go down in infamy. From Brighton to Jamaica Plains. Aldo, Casimir, you are slowed. Aldo feels this sludge moving through his veins where blood should be. He's just saying, like, no, is this what death is? Will I die here on this strange world with wounds still lodged to this tumorous growth on my neck? It's all right, Werner. Just thinking out loud. Shh. Calm down. Calm down. We'll think of a way to use you in gameplay yet. And he's going, he's gonna, and he sees that it's shaken off another batch of this precious, precious acid. It's gonna try again. Okay, 30. Hit. Kaboom. Come on, come on, finish it. 
Four more points of splash damage. Okay. Final attack. And persistent. Uh, at the end of its round. Yep. Uh, I'm going to throw another firebomb. Okay. Uh, cracked eye. Oh, shit! 27? Miss. Oh, come on! That fuck, fuck this fucking fuck! All right. Well, that's four points of, of splash. Okay. Okay. And now I will take my persistent damage. Uh, six points of, of acid damage as this thing's melting through my skin. And then I'll do my flat check. 16! Yeah. All right. right! You did it! You did it! Okay. It's the Dracula's turn. The Dracula's stares at you, Aldo. I need... A fortitude save. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's Atticus's turn. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Oh. Mm. Pardon me. Yes, there you are in the initiative order. What is the DC that you need to hit to not... There he is. Dead. What is the point of trying anymore? It's over. All of this has been for naught. Trying so hard to get the better of others. Trying so hard to become Sharper, smarter, wiser than the rest. All of a sudden, he's in this plane of pure blackness. But there is light. It's moving in strange ways. And he sees a figure he has not seen in many years. A figure who is dead. His father. Oh. A man who pushed him so hard. Sound like them. Look like them. You never will. But try your best to fool them into thinking you're something other than yourself. You're just a rat in a hat. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> it's fucked up. Super sad. Shut up. Shut up. He sees him. Father, what are you doing here? Well, I was waiting to see you. I knew you'd come crawling here eventually. Now, I have found better things to do than waste my time spoiling for your dreams. My dreams have nothing to do with this. It's you and your aspirations to think that you can be like them. You're worthless, and you'll always be worthless. No, I must protect them. They have loved me more than you ever have. They've gone out of their way to protect me. And now there is a traitor in their midst. Someone among them who seeks to destroy them all without their knowing. I will save them. And he begins to turn away from his father and I'm gonna roll a flat check. What is happening? <sighs> on what is dying going on? too. And I critically fail. Oh no! So, oh, no! so, no! hero point. Hero I'm going point. to use that hero point. Yeah. Okay. I held on to it. Come on, Joe. Cheapers. But this is now it. Couldn't you have used that hero point from... to wipe away the dying condition? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Sorry, I didn't know the word. I forgot that. Unfortunately. You've already rolled. <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot that rule. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, it was a cool scene, though, so just... You can still have the scene and yeah. then use the point to wipe away the dying condition. If you can sleep with yourself at night, knowing... Uh, yeah, I can sleep with myself just fine. <laughs> <laughs> you say, no, there is a traitor in their midst. One among them who seeks to destroy the others. I must save them. I must protect them. You would know nothing of such loyalty. <laughs> Spits on the ground. And all of a sudden, this like wavy black smoke. It's just this white spittle that hits the ground. And he turns away to go back to the world of the living. Yeah! And he will stabilize. Stabilize, best I can do. I will remove the red X from your character. 
<laughs> Thank you. It was kind of rude to see. <laughs> it hurt my feelings. <laughs> now it is its turn. Now it is its turn. And it does as it said it would and stares into Aldo's soul. Give me a fortitude save. Okay. Aldo. In front of right. God and Sydney. Uh, okay, that's that's not too bad. It's a fortitude save? Oh, shit. Yes. Uh, 26. Statue. Uh, no! Uh, Are you shitting me? Permanently petrified. We cut to inside the window of this small house where a little old lady walks up. Oh, look, they've put some statues on the beach. <laughs> I've always wanted the view to have some statues. <laughs> on to help me. I'll hail the water. Fuck. I fucking not, not hate now, this guys. island. Come on. <laughs> I'll hail the water. Rat. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> we have two statues. Atticus is stabilized. Conscious at one hit point? Zero. Conscious at zero hit points. No, unconscious. Stable, right? At zero? I don't know the rules. <laughs> is, you're stabilized and you're... Uh, you stabilize with zero hit points. It's so good. I'm a cleric in the party. To help in situate... Oh, wait. Nope. Yeah. It is... Sir Julie's turn. Right, because I had to move into position. Oh no, I still have one action left. No, you did. You did. The, yeah, you, you did the two action. Two I did the two action yeah. thing, but I have three actions. With my next action, you know what? I will bite Sir Julie. Attempt to. Yo, dude. Uh, Natty eighteen. Oh. A 39 to hit. Oh. Is a critical. Oh. That's it. It's a TPK. I hope you prepped it, Troy, you Good piece night. of shit. <laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. I'd like to... Oh, do I pick a city for this? Or no, it was only a Natty 18. Shut no, up, Troy. A natty 18. <laughs> do I pick a city for this? You don't get a city. All right, I'll just do double damage. Where are my D12s? I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough. Uh, roll and double, right? Instead of roll twice. Thank you. They don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> okay. No. 40 points of piercing damage. Sir Julie, is it dying one? Oh! Dying two. Dying two because it was a crit. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. By the way, we did not do the hero point wrong, from what I'm reading. You can spend all your hero points to avoid death. You do this when your dying condition would increase. So you still roll. Ah, okay. And if you fail, you can do it. So too. now I can sleep tonight. Yes. So now you can. Year. I was going to sleep like a baby. But I mean, I was going to be up every three hours. Unconscious. From all this hard And at zero hit points. So yeah. she falls. She falls. And take damage. Dying two, over there. Well, I was a dying two because it was a crit. I'm sorry. I was a dying two, so now I'm, I take damage, so now I'm dying three. Well, right. uh, oh shit! From stop! Falling. Stop! Oh, from falling. That's right. Stop saying that about my friend. You, uh, yeah. Well, whatever the damage was, doesn't you're matter. now a dying three. But you have die hard, right? I do have die hard. That doesn't. That's not enough. So. This is fucking wild. I can do this breath weapon once every 1d4 rounds. 
I did it last round. So if I roll a one or a two on a D4, I can do the breath weapon again. Let's roll it downstage here. Oh, come on, no. No! Oh. If it's a one or a two, he can do the breath weapon again. It's a four, you son of a bitch! Get back in your seat! Get back in your seat! <laughs> son of a bitch. Yes. Yeah. Fuck you, Troy. Careful. Fuck you, Troy. Careful. Fuck you, Troy. Careful. Careful now. Fair. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. They said it. I said it. You know what? Let's go to round six. Let's see how this plays out. Round six. So, Sir Julie now moves uh, ahead of uh, the Dracolus, but... Passive. Persistent, uh, persistent. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, end of my turn. Okay. Uh, seven points of acid damage. Okay. Are, you, are you dead? Still up. By how much? Don't worry about it. Flat check. Uh, yep, flat check is going to be key here, Sydney. Huh? I'll let you watch. <laughs> she likes to watch. Let me see. Fuck! Natty 19. Are you fucking kidding Stop me? Stop rolling outside the Jesus box! Jesus Christ! This is... He uh, is rolling absolute Can I touch that die? Ridiculous. Can you give me that die? Can I touch that? No. Get your filthy cream ale hands away from me. All right, this is, this is fucking awesome. If I was here live, I would be psyched. Oh, wait. I am. I am. All right, Aldo, you are a statue. Probably the best case scenario for you right now. Not really. No, Actually, why? What'd that be? Just permanently. I don't know if I'd say best case scenario. Yeah. <laughs> like, best case scenario, I could still try to kill this thing that turned me into a statue. It's so sad. Ave and Aldo are just staring at each other across the beach. Like, yeah. Ave saw Aldo get petrified as he got petrified. Yeah, she the said saddest this, thing. The, the tide is slowly coming in around Ave's ankles. Maybe the tide will come in and wash us all away as statues and we'll end up on some distant shore where they'll be able to un unpetrify us. Hopefully. Several hundred years later. Yeah. yeah. In a different game. Well, you're yeah. not petrified. They're petrified. You're yeah, just no. going to fucking drown. I'm just going to drown. Atticus. <laughs> 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 Wait, did you land in the water? Oh, yeah, you did. He did. <laughs> I, I can see shore beneath my feet. Every other round wait, of water like fills your mouth. Who made these maps? <laughs> Fuck that guy. Um, <laughs> all right, Atticus, it's your turn. You can't do anything, right? I can't do anything. He's in this strange limbo. He's walked away from death, trying to get back to his friends, but can't seem to find the way to wake up. So, Julie, it's your turn. Yeah, so I guess I'll, so I roll and then I can decide whether or not yeah. to use the hero point. You still have that one hero point. I've been yeah. saving it. Uh, 11? Fail. All right, so then I'll use my hero point and stabilize, stabilize at, zero. at zero. At zero. Cool. It's the Dracolus' turn. You're all unconscious. It doesn't make any sense. Well, no, Aldo and Ave Maria are completely conscious. No, their thoughts are suspended. I just read That's the picture. Oh. Yeah, we can't think. You're statues, and you will be permanently statues for the rest of your lives. Um, it is going to either attack Sir Julie or Ave Maria. One, two, Sir Julie. Three, four, Ave Maria. Four. It goes to bite Ave Maria, who has an AC of nine right now. I'm gonna use a little attack called Savage Jaws. <laughs> it sounds like a band. <laughs> Tonight at the Paradise Rock Club, Savage, Savage Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> Coming sure at you live. Um, this is wild. I rolled an eight. But it's a plus 21 to hit, which means it's a 29, which means it's a crit. 
So the damage doesn't matter, right? She just goes, well, no, because- She's not dying. She's not dying. What, how many hit points do you have? 24. You're dying too. It would have been, I mean, I can't even tell you how much damage this would have been. 2D, uh, 2D12 plus eight times two, plus because of Savage Jaws, another 4D12 plus 16. And arguably that could double as well. So dying two. And uh, with what is the shatter rules for petrified? Like, what does it take to be shattered? You when mentioned shattered. She remain. She keeps her hit points. Oh, okay. When so she loses them all, she shatters. She yeah, but then there's a hardness to. Yeah, so you would take away that eight still at 24 hit points. You're but a dying. She shattered. Condition. Right? She doesn't get a dying condition. Oh, did she just shatter? Did she... you just kill Ave Maria? Ave wait, Maria. let me, wait, let me read the wait, fucking rule. Wait! Wait! Hardness eight, same current hit points. You don't have a broken threshold. Oh yeah, you're an if object. If the statue's destroyed, you immediately die. One down. Still have one action left. Describe, describe her death in vivid detail. <laughs> oh, after striking down Sir Julie and Sir Julie falling uh, as the water just laps over her, face down in the sand and the surf, its jaws open up and it just... Boom! And you explode into a million pieces. Oh my god. Rocks upon this shore. Perhaps it was your dying wish to have your ashes spread on this shore. But I guess the pebbles of you will have to suffice. Do you have no you, shame? You can't make ashes out of a statue. It's just crazy. It's final attack and attacks Sir Julie with a one action. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Is it... It lowered itself? Like, did it move? It felt like it was high in the air. Oh, yeah, we were battling. Did it specifically Gray fair, move down? Gray fair, it'll move down and then use the two actions, Savage John. So it can't attack it Sir Julie. It cannot attack Sir Julie. But it's hovering, what, like five feet above? It's hovering, like, within striking range above it. Just enough time for that ship of 40 pe- people to come and help us. Yeah! For s- Yeah! Yeah! I love you guys. Just enough time for, guys. yes, the ship of 40 people to start firing off crossbow bolts and scare Perfect. off. Perfect. Mm. Perfect. Or s- the captain to return and save us. Mm. Mm. Or that piece of shit twice born to do something resembling anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just had a threesome with two of those people on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, they have a reason to want me alive. Oh, <laughs> yeah! It's round seven. I, tr- I tried. <laughs> With each character that dies, I will give you an opportunity for perhaps aid to show up, but that aid will be based on the results of a die roll, and that die will be rolled by Joe. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Joe's gonna roll, Joe's gonna roll. You're ready for that one. What do we call this veteran hazing? Is that what we call this? <laughs> Oh, God. Um, You're a bastard person. (laughs) You're a bastard person. (laughs) All right, Aldo's frozen. Atticus is at uh, zero and stable. Sir Julie's at zero and stable. It comes back to the Dracula's. But before it does, Joe... (laughs) Son of a bitch. And just to clarify, there's nothing... Once you're... There's nothing... There's no mechanic when you're at zero to regain hit points. Because at zero... In Pathfinder 1, you were disabled, right? At zero... Yeah, I don't know if you... In re- Starfinder, I feel like you could spend something to then go to one, but I think that with this, you have to spend all your hero points just to go to zero. You can't get to one without help, right? Yep. All right. This would be a great opportunity to lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole <laughs> bunch of people in the... Yeah. 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 Um, right. Okay, so 
Let's roll a die, Joe, to see if, because here's the thing, here's the worst part of this. The Dracolisk is in really bad shape. So I know, any I'm so type, fucking angry. I, I knew we were I close. Didn't, I didn't hit it once. No, I hit it one time. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, how all those and did, all my acid, flat checks, flat were made every time. It could be dead by now. Well, I mean, you don't really get to a good TPK like this without the rolls going shit for the players and great for the GM. Right, like, for sure. It just went that way. Right. It yeah. went that way. So I'm going to have you roll something to see if aid comes. Uh, Come on, Boston! 36 seconds have... That's the thing you have to remember. Only 36 seconds have passed. Okay. Is someone going to come to your aid? But it, there is a ship... No, I, I can see it on the map. I know he's saying. And a dragon. I'm, I'm justifying in the story. And mm-hmm. the dragon start fired off how many? You breath think weapons? Dinky Fuss Tumble can fire a crossbow? Yes. Yeah. I think Spinny Pal can knock that shit out of the yeah, sky there are like a 45 motherfucker. Forty-five people crammed onto that boat. Surely one of them <laughs> and a couple of them want to get laid again. Diaper two. <laughs> oh, I forgot about wet knee. Wet knees. I know O.J. Simpson can shot. fuck some shit up. <laughs> you think the Edge Lord doesn't have like a ranged <laughs> weapon? <laughs> the Edge Lord throws a spear. <laughs> All right. The truth right. ascends to the deck and is like. <gasps> <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm I'm literally going to keep killing you until uh, aid comes, and aid is not guaranteed. Uh, I want to pick a die here that's going to be fun. What do you like? What kind of die do you like? Do you like a D twenty? A D twenty. Okay. Let's do a D twenty, and I will say anything over an eleven. So not eleven. Twelve or higher. No, eleven or higher. Eleven or higher. That's 50, very generous. Fifty chance. Eleven. All right, Boston. All right. <laughs> Come on, Boston. Okay. So this die, Boston, this is the worst die in the world. I love it so much. My first die, when I got back into the hobby, I bought at PAX East 2010. The first PAX East. It is the die that made Lork fail on his charge against Kargik. Wow. That natural five will haunt me for the rest of my life. But tonight, I roll it in the front of the stage in Boston oh. to see if we can bring aid. Come on. Eleven or higher on a D20. So I know, like, hindsight and everything, but I did want to make this, ask this question before. Why that die? It's a very, <laughs> it's an awful die, and I, I, I just, I wanted to redeem it. I'm dead. Why would you roll a bad die? <laughs> roll a die with the history of success. <laughs> I have no die with a history well, of success. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Touche. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, all right, Sir Julie, what is your AC now while you're laying on the ground unconscious? I have no idea. Yeah. Does your AC change when you go unconscious and hit the ground? I'm about to kill someone, so I want to make sure I do it right. I mean, I'm still wearing the armor. Yeah, are you helpless? If you check the unconscious condition, does it just make you flat-footed? My AC is 22. Unconscious. Unconscious. Mm. Very good. So yeah, you only, still have that armor on. Yeah. So a natural one would, would be a 22 exactly. Uh, I'm going to do Savage Jaws on you because uh, I want so to... So a natural it. one would be a fumble. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No, it'd be a mess. You're right. You sons of bitches. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. Could be a crit that would take you to dying two or not. You have no hero points left. I we have call no bottle caps. Natural fucking one. <gasps> yeah! So it's a straight up myth! Oh my god! That's right, all time is tricky! Yeah! It's I mean, tricky, 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 tricky! tricky. I tricky. just switched to this die and it's nat one. Now, the goddess a, smiles upon me. Now that's a 22 to hit, but a one is a one, so it takes it down a step. So to it would have been a miss. hit. So it's just a miss, not a fumble. That was my two action. 
And now I will just, because uh, I'm Leave. within range of you, I'll just say, peace, everybody. Uh, no, I will... Uh, Leave. Jaw you. What? <laughs> this entire fight, it almost seemed like it was meant to take you out. Sent by whom? Someone on Lang. On the plateau of Lang. On the plateau of Lang, someone. It was following the ruby, was it not? 35 to hit, that's a crit. You're a dying two. Okay. It's not a crit. It is a crit. It is a crit. The next round. <laughs> I forgot about him. <laughs> forgot about her being uncrit. <laughs> the next round, it can use its breath weapon. Oh, oh Christ. Unless Sydney rolls higher than an 11. Yeah! What? Come on, Sid! I put my dice away! I put my dice away. <laughs> Boston Sid! Come on, Sid! Okay. It's the green die. It's the GCP green die. Here we go. Far away from Steve. Fuck. In the arms of the angels, I rolled a two. Oh my god! We, we're so cold. Fuck this dice! I'm, I quit. Fuck you, Norse Foundry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this dull Norse Foundry. Sid had the dice. class not to say it, but I'll say it. Does, Fuck is, Norse Foundry and fuck Harpoon! <laughs> <laughs> fuck Harpoon! <laughs> skid, skid, they don't get it! They don't. <laughs> everyone who's treated us kindly over the last five years, fuck, fuck you! you. <laughs> Troy, I rolled a two. Was that good? No, no, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Is it not like cards where like close to the ace is good maybe, or like? The creature unleashes a breath weapon. Uh, cool. I'm dead. I mean, what do I care? Yeah, you're just gonna get fried here. So I'm in pieces. There's nothing. That's I'm right. shattered. Now, why are you even on the map? Get out of there, new pawn. <laughs> this is the saddest. You gotta so know a character that you just made. That I know. Dies. This is a new, and you just got the art and everything. And hey, you this know what? I found a new thing. pawn for you. Oh my God. Oh, oh, no. man. I'll have Let me you put know. her name on it. I'll have you know. <laughs> oh my God. I'm currently concocting the worst <laughs> character that I could possibly make. I am your worst nightmare now. <laughs> All right. Holy shit. So, I, now, <laughs> you're gonna get, you two still get a fortitude save while unconscious. Sure. Okay. Whereas. You uh, sounds like fun, Aldo. As a statue, I don't know if you get anything. You can't act, nor can you sense anything. Remember that thing that Skid told you about his backstory? Oh, Troy! You'll never know. I'm Let rolling. him have a flashback. I'm rolling rocks. He can have it when he dies. That's gonna be tonight. Yeah. Uh, fortitude save, fortitude save over here, and I think you'll just slowly, you'll just go to dying one. I hey, I finally okay. rolled above a 10. Oh, <laughs> oh you rolled an 11? You. I rolled a 16, so it's a uh, 29. 29, okay. I'd that's have with your... to roll a natural 20. I didn't. 29. You both rolled a 29? Yeah. Okay. Like sick to my stomach here. I'm all over the uh, map. All right, so 29. I believe that you both pass. Here we go. Doesn't uh, really matter, right? We doesn't both... really matter. It's it just does, we don't critically fail, it's just right? The, yeah, it's just a matter of where, how, if you go to die, like down two dying or down just one. So with that breath weapon, where is the DC up? All right, so you both succeeded. So you're all just going to take a ton of damage. Uh, you go down to. Well, were you already at dying one? I was at two. You're dying two. You go to dying three. Atticus goes to dying one, Aldo goes to dying one. 
Oh I did actually roll a natural one, so. That would have been dying too, but I think while petrified, you don't, your fortitude save goes away. So you're okay. just going to die the slowest. Okay, okay. Matthew, would you like to uh, roll a d20 to see if aid will come? Sure, sure. Oh, wait a minute though. You guys are dying now, so now we have to add saves into the mix here to see. Oh. So let's do that. I'm kind of just going to throw this around. Aldo, let's see if you become stable and conscious. All right. Uh, stable and unconscious. Uh, stable and unconscious. Okay. Oh, wait. He's a statue. How many? You, oh, so I have to roll the actual You damage. just killed him. Well, I have to roll the actual damage. It's only 60, 10 poison damage. Oh my. And you'll take eight less from this. Okay. Why would poison affect a piece of yes, stone? Poison. I mean, he's, he's stone. It's, uh, it will be minus eight, 21 points of damage. All right. I had exactly 21 hit points left. So if you get hit one more time, I will just copy and paste Ave's pawn. Okay. Now you guys roll to see if you go to dying four, Sir Julie, and if you go to dying two, Atticus. What am I rolling? What am I rolling to hit? Uh, flat, 11. No, you're rolling a, your recovery check. Oh, you're, it's 13. Flat check, 13. 13 Wait, are you dying four right now? No, I'm dying three. Yeah, right, 10 two. plus your dying level. Natural four. So you go I, have, I have die hard, so I'm slow. Yeah, if you I'm go slow. to dying four, you're one away from permadeath. Now let's see if you go to dying two. You roll a DC 11 flat check as you're dying one. Do you want to know if you actually? No, no, okay, here we go. Natural seven. Dying two. Dying four with the die hard feet. Dying two, rocks, one hit away. Skid, since the fate of this, uh, your character lies in this roll, I would like you to roll to okay. eight. Okay, all right. DC, Thank it's uh, 11 or higher. 11 or Thank higher. Thank you for not asking me to do that and also share a hotel room with Skid's Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna roll the Norse Foundry die. Come on, Skid, save us! All right. Do you wanna save do it down us? Stage, Skid? Come on, get out there! This is your last chance, Eric. <laughs> Eric. 12! Yes! Oh! God, I'm gonna blast that shit at the after. Party. Hell yeah! Yes. <laughs> fire away! Fire, fire away. away! At that moment, you hear <laughs> and look in the. Actually, none of you look. You're all fucking dying or yeah. dead. <laughs> Another shit. The Dracula. The audience looks. The Draculus <laughs> looks with its nine remaining hit points. Oh God oh. damn it! at Skywind Freeling, lighting it up. However, Sir Julie, if you do not make a DC 14 flat check, you die as well. Uh, that's kind of fair. Come on, Julie. Come on. Come on, Julie. Come on, Julie. 10. And we'll see you Thursday night. Fuck you, Trump! They said I wouldn't do it! I did it! I love you guys! Thank you so much! Great to be back in